MVP in box two, the favourite. Set to go, green light. They're set to go on the top gun, ready, set, Racing, Aston Rupi out very fast near the inside. The favourites go to charge up and take the lead, settling down. Have a tick along tonk followed by Do It near the inside. They were followed then by Wow as they turn to the back straight and tick along tonk has taken over. And tick along tonk's about two in front of Aston Rupi. Three away then came Do It. They were followed by Lala Kiwi on the inside then came Wow. Followed further back here by Jungle Juice and Bandit coming up the turn. Aston Rupi drives up on the inside to tackle tick along tonk as they turn for home. It's Aston Rupi hitting the front and it's the speed. Greyhound here winning it. That's uh, Aston Rupi. Second spot in the race would go to do it, I'd say. Followed close ahead. He then by a wow, then came at the head of the others. Would have been bad at there. Tickalong Tonk was right up there, too. And back to the tail of the field of the race would have been Lala Kiwi. And the time is showing around 29.69. Aston Rupi, the winner of the 2021 Tab Top Gun. He almost led Glenn Rounds, and you yeah. thought, we're on here. Yeah. And then he got challenged oh, by Tickalong Tonk. He had to read the see. race from there. I couldn't see. Then they come out the corner and the the six is in front, and I'm thinking, balance up and do your, do your stuff. So he was fantastic. When he was on the tail of Tigalong Tonk, you think he's going to get underneath here, he's going to win, or you wor were, you, were you worried? Well, he made the right decision and got up underneath him, and then he just went to the line, and, you know, he's just a magnificent greyhound. Long time considered as the fastest greyhound in Australia. Is it relieving to now have Group 1 under his belt? Yeah, it is, true. It's, um, it's good to have this with the next couple of months of racing uh, ahead of us with a Melbourne Cup and a Phoenix to go into this now and have this on, on his uh, resume already, which is nice. How would his owner Ray Ball be feeling at the moment? Uh, he'd be probably dancing in his house somewhere, but um, he'd be happy. I'm sure he spoke a couple of times and he'd be happy, he'd be very happy. Terrific performance, Glenn, congratulations. Thank you, mate. Ta Glenn rounds there, Mark, trainer of Aston Rupee, and I mean, it almost looked like he was going to find the front lead, it was game set match from there, but then Tigalong Tonk took over. He had to work a bit hard, but in the end, still too good. You could almost feel that sense of relief from Glenn Rounds that they've finally ticked off the Group 1 box. And to do it at the Meadows, quite special considering he's a track record holder at Sandown Park. What a greyhound to be able to do it on both of the Metro tracks here in Victoria. Headed by Tigalong Tonk, but managed to rail through and run 29.657. So the slower than... Gets up, 502 that first section for Tigalong Tonk. Numbers 261 and 9. 261 and 9. Do it. Runs third, scraping the paint. And in for fourth is La La Kiwi, the first reserve. What a top gun of 2021. Aston Rupee whiz for Glenn Rounds. Again, very much deserve it. Aston Rupi doing it from just off the pace here this evening to claim maiden group one success. Repeating that time, 29.657. Patch, speaking to Glenn Rounds there, did you get that feeling from him that that's a big weight off his shoulder? I think so. Glenn's a fairly reserved person and he won't sort of cut loose in, a, in an interview with a red line on, but I'm sure he'll, he'll get home tonight. He will crack a beer when he walks in the door and Probably a bit of weight off the shoulders. I mean, the expectation's been so high for so long, whether it was going through Adelaide Cup Series, where he was clearly the num number one contender, uh, favourite there in a huge event, and in the end found a lot of drama. And I guess there was that unknown of, of him being an out-and-out out star of the sport before he had a win like this under his belt. You can run all the fast times you want all around Victoria and, and set records, but it's all about the group ones at the end of the day and your resume that's going to make him what he is, not only now, Mark, but also from a, a stud point of view. He's clearly going to be very popular and to now have a top gun under his belt, which if he keeps beginning like that, that's not going to be the last of his group one wins. How big is it, Jason Lincoln, uh, to be that adept to two tracks? He's the track record holder at Sandown Park and now he's taken out the top gun. 
uh, one of the most prestigious races, of course, an invitational race here at the Meadows. Two six one nine repeating after, of course, the Tab Top Gun Sprint. Um, it looks as though the Melbourne Cup has to be next, and the Phoenix would have to be after probably for Ray Border. Yeah, clearly they're they're, they're the two big ticket items. But I mean, <laughs> before then we could see him line up as soon as Thursday night in the shootout. Glenn Rounds has always said that he'd rather race than trial, and the best thing for Aston Rupee is that the maintain is is racing keep him ticking over that's what he loves doing that's what keeps him at the top of his game so look if he does nominate for the shootout mark i'm quite frightened that uh, not many others might want to either <laughs> to take on take him on because he's the fastest in the country and the format suits him to the ground hey there is good prize money for second though and for the other placings this greyhound though what a marvel and you'd think looking towards the tab phoenix him staying sound he'd have to be ray borders slot filler for that race well i think ray's making an announcement on monday of some sort so i heard him on the the road to the the tab phoenix podcast with gareth Thor. He didn't give away a lot but it seemed like whatever he's coming out with on monday was going to be quite significant and potentially surrounding aston rupees so look it could be a really big end to the year for him we're not going to get ahead of ourselves but i mean the shootout melbourne cup phoenix if he's the the go well and even one of them but let alone uh, all of them, then his status is as high as it is at the moment could go through the roof. What if he was to take out the shootout, Melbourne Cup, the Phoenix, Jason Lincoln? Can we, can we dream that high into the sky? Indeed, uh, Aston Rupee just caps off what's been a sensational period for, for this Greyhound. Patch? Wiz, I want to ask you a question. I mean, years gone by, we've seen um, Greyhounds like Aston Rupee in different positions and the, the conversation starts quite quickly about start and how long they'll race for. Do you reckon that that theory is, is shifting as time goes on when we've seen the likes of, uh, say, a, a, the late Simon Solid Helen Shimmer Shine, they they want to keep racing for as long of long as possible, and then call it quits and, and move on to the next stage of their career. Do you reckon that's trending more in that direction now than it ever has before? Now, Patch, we uh, have to have to say something. Um, Brian Jaggers, co-owner of Jungle Juice, has messaged through saying that they were the first New South Wales dog home. Who would have thought? So I can only guess that uh, Jungle Juice has finished fifth. That would mean the top four clean sweep for the Victorians, Jason Lincoln. Uh, 
it's racing and we look forward to seeing a heck of a lot more of the likes of Bandit Ned definitely in future. Jungle Juice, wow. And of course, Zipping Kyrgios. Uh, who knows? Time will only tell, but I'm sure there are races down here for at least a, a couple of those greyhounds. Yeah, there is. And I mean, the benefit of of the results tonight is that these Victorian dogs are racing in their own backyard, whereas mm. we've discussed mm. a number of times with a few dogs that have been engaged tonight, it is difficult to come down and, and beat the beat the best at their home ground, as it has been for years, Mark, mm. going to off the stadium and then trying to knock off the Eagles over there. It's a, it's a difficult thing to do, but yeah, they'll stick around, zipping Kyrgios. We saw a story written by the, the Greyhound recorder a few weeks ago saying he will be going towards the the Melbourne Cup, so I'd expect he'd be in this Thursday night because he hasn't yet competed in a prelude. Um, I'm not sure what the plans are for the others, including Wow, who's won an exemption race, so he can go straight through to the heats. And uh, I think Bandit Ned's going home to contest the GBOTA series up there. And the other one in the field was Jungle Juice, of course. I'm not sure what the latest is with Jack Smith as to the what their next plans are. Oh, well, just home here tonight, and they just... Uh, go home, take medicine and, and reassess. But it have to be, like for many of these greyhounds, uh, also has to be mentioned that, well, firstly, Jason Lincoln, these moths are causing complete and utter havoc uh, under the tent here. But uh, I, was, I was going to... Uh, Talking about being hard to be. <laughs> oh, wowee. Uh, I was going to um, make mention of a point that I've completely forgotten now, but um, 29657, it will come to me shortly. It was just wonderful to see Aston Rupee finally 